You guys like cookies? Welcome back to the Good View Woodworks channel. My name's Nathan, and today we are going to use these cookies that I have. I've had these for a really long time. They've just been sitting around in the shop. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a serving tray slash, you know, TV tray. So like a serving tray and a TV tray. We're going to use this, and we're going to use some of uh, Incredible Solutions Epoxy and maybe some pretty cool metallic powders. Check it out. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these cookies and I'm gonna toenail them to this piece of melamine and we're gonna get one side flat. That way when we put it in the mold, we don't have to plane both sides and do all that. It's gonna take too long. We're gonna plane one side, get it in the mold, and once everything, all the epoxy is cured, then we'll go ahead and plane the whole thing down at one time instead of doing it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Got it? Here we go. All right, so now that we have now that we have our pieces cut, you see the cuts and planed on one side, we're gonna go ahead and start mocking up our form. I'm just kind of winging this, going, you know, doing it as it comes to my mind. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do, but we're gonna go ahead and mock it up, trace it out, and get the rest of the rest of our form built. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to reuse the form that I made the coffee table with. And if you haven't seen that yet, I will link it up here. Let's get to it. We'll reuse this mold, mock these cookies up, and boy, I tell you what, this thing's gonna look noise. So now that we have these laid out the way that we want them, I'm gonna go ahead and start making the side rails and finishing up this form. We're gonna reuse the three of the sides from the old form, and then I'm just gonna make one new side. Pocket hole it in and should be good to go. I think this thing's gonna look pretty sweet.
Don't worry about all the dust getting on here. I gotta wipe it off anyway, cause it's all dirty and whatnot. We got our form made, so now what we're gonna do is caulk the edges and we'll be ready to pour. It's dirty. I'm gonna go ahead and blow this out, wipe it down, then we'll be ready to caulk. All right, now that we got the form caulked, we're gonna go ahead and let that dry, and then we'll, we will be ready to pour. And as you can see, the caulk doesn't have to be perfect because we are going to be The caulk doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to go ahead and clean it up after it dries. But also, the final dimension, when we pull it out of the form, that's not going to be the final dimensions. We're going to trim it up on the on the uh, table saw and sand it down and stuff so you won't even see those little imperfections in the finished product. Man, this thing going to be looking sweet. All right, guys, we're back and we are ready to mix up some resin and start pouring this thing. First thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to take, we're going to mix up a little bit of epoxy and we're going to brush it on the bottom and then stick it down to the mold before we pour. That way we know we got resin all the way underneath and it'll trap some air bubbles and keep them from coming up. If we only pour just a little bit, air will come be able to come to the top. If we poured, if we didn't seal it like that and poured a real thick pour, you'd trap air bubbles in there. So we're just gonna pour a little bit at a, at a time because also we don't have casting resin. We have countertop epoxy. So that's what we're gonna do. Here we go. All right, now that we got our pieces clamped down so that they can't rise back up or float on the epoxy, we're gonna go ahead and mix up our color. And my wife chose this awesome green color. We're gonna go ahead and mix up some epoxy and we're gonna pour just a little bit at a time.
Make sure you scrape all the sides so that you get it thoroughly mixed. And make sure you use gloves, not like what I'm doing because I ran out of gloves. But you need to be wearing gloves. Look at that, it moved. Let me fix that real quick before. All right guys, last but not least, we're gonna go ahead and get those air bubbles out with our heat gun. Here we go. I wanted to point out, before you leave your form sit after you poured, you need to make sure that your form is level so that all the epoxy doesn't flow to one side. And as you can see, pretty level. So everything should be even. All right, everybody, that's it for today. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up here. If you like this video, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button. Also, hit the like button and share this with your friends as well. Thanks for stopping by today, guys. We're gonna have a blast. This thing is really cool. The color is cool at the same time. I'm excited to see what it's like filled with epoxy, but that'll be in next week's video. Guys, thank you so much. And as always, thanks for hanging out with us.